Apple is considered to be an important tech player in the world and getting a post in Apple Inc. is a dream come true for many graduates. But it is important to know about the organizational structure, bonus, salary, etc. before joining any organization. On a second thought, many of my known would join Apple just to get the latest iPhone. Jokes apart, in this vlog, you will get a complete understanding of the structure of Apple Inc. Let's begin with a short intro on Apple Incorporation. As we all know, Apple Inc. was started by Steve Jobs in 1976 as a computer company. Now it is the fourth largest smartphone manufacturer and one of the big five American companies and considered as the world's most valuable company. Apple's main products cover consumer electronics and software and other online and cloud services. The world's largest technology company has more than 154,000 employees as per 2021 statistics. Talking about the technical hierarchy, like many other large multinational companies, Apple also uses the band system to categorize the workforce. The salary, bonus and other work benefits changes between these band levels. This article covers only the technical aspect. So here is how the classification goes. IC2 or an entry level software engineer is the entry level band in Apple. Most of the new graduates will be hired to this position. Here you will be assisting with all aspects of software design and coding by working on minor bug fixes that helps you to learn and adapt to this position. The average annual salary of an ICT2 or software engineer 2 in Apple is $167,000. Next, you will be promoted to the band ICT3 or an intermediate level software engineer. You can also be directly hired as ICT3 if you have an intermediate level of experience. At this level, you will work on the basic and common tasks in software development and services. You will be guided by a senior software engineer or a specialist. The average annual salary of ICT3 or Software Engineer 3 is estimated as $216,000. After around 3 to 5 years of experience in software development and consulting, you will be promoted as an ICT4 or a Senior Level Software Engineer. This band ranks equal to Senior Software Engineer position in Google or other companies. The salary of ICT4 varies from person to person based on their work efficiency. The average or base annual salary is estimated as $317,000. So the next step in the ladder is ICT5. You can compare ICT5 or Software Engineer 5 with the team lead or staff engineer positions. The resource at this position is a senior level team member who mainly focuses on repair, redevelopment, testing and related processes to ensure product efficiency and user satisfaction. The average annual salary of a staff engineer or ICT5 in Apple Inc. is $452,000. The final senior level position in Apple is ICT6, which is considered equal to the principal engineer of other companies. This band level acts as a bridge between the technical staff and the management or marketing staff. The average annual salary of an ICT6 or software engineer 6 is $754,000. After ICT6, the managerial chain of command starts covering the positions like CTO, director, CEO, CFO, etc. Other than these positions, there are also some distinguished or special engineers specialized in a particular niche. But those positions are mostly temporary or overworked by the normal software engineers. So that's how the Apple technical hierarchy is designed. Please note that the organizational structure explained here is based on the best of our knowledge and understanding. However, there can be variations and changes with the changing dynamics in the company with time. If you are preparing for your next job interview, 
all joining Apple Inc. in a short while, then all the best wishes. I hope you must have gone through the other vlogs in the series. Many more are coming soon. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to keep yourself updated with the upcoming videos.